So this is going to be the second part to wireless issues with the Samsung Galaxy S4. If you can't just forget the network that you're currently on and re-enter the information, we're going to need to go into the router and change the security settings. So normally all the router addresses are going to be 192.168.1.1, unless you've changed it to something else physically. And then depending on what router you have, you're going to need to go in and enter your password. Most of them are admin and then blank or admin and admin. You might have to see what router type that you have and then Google it real quick. They're all standard. If you still have the booklet that your router came with, of course, that'll tell you also. So one of the first things you're going to want to do, you're going to get into here. We're going to be looking for the wireless setup settings. I custom installed the DDWRT onto this. But anything's going to have wireless setup, wireless security, wireless settings. That's what we're looking for. So find the wireless tab that you currently have. That was the password part I have to sign into. So once you've done that, what we're looking for is the security. So if you have different tabs like I do up here, we're going to go to wireless security. And so most of the problem is, uh, depending on what security mode you're using, uh, you want the most secure, normally do WPA2 personal on this, WPA2 whatever on your router, it kind of just depends. Uh, you'll have two different channels sometimes if you have a dual band router. Uh, you might only see one, just depends on that one too. But you have your passwords in here, that's what these keys are. And this is the actual encryption type and the algorithm. So depending on what you have here, you'll need to change it. This is most likely the reason that your uh, phone will not connect. And I believe it's normally AES that it has problems with. I just went ahead and changed it to both. Uh, if not, just switch it from whatever you currently have set up. So if you have AES, put it on TKIP. If you have both, do that, see if it works. Um, of course, that would be the best bet. And then you're just going to change it, go to save. You go into save settings, apply settings. It'll apply the settings to the router. It'll actually cut off uh, your router for a second while it restarts the router normally. And you might need to reboot your router afterwards. Um, on my router, you can reboot it from in here. Most routers you can. It's either status or administration to get to the reboot panel. Uh, it just depends. But this will, uh, yeah, it must be administration there. So you can just reboot the router from here. I'm not going to do that. It's going to cut me off, and mine's already set up. But essentially, that's going to be one of the main things that will help you. Um, I'm also going to do some other uh, tutorials on setting up your router to maximize it. Uh, there's different things like your NAT and quality of service that you can change. Uh, make sure you have the latest firmware upgrade. A lot of things like this. I'm going to do another tutorial afterwards. Uh, all about your router, changing the wireless channels in case it's too congested. And those, most of them are on auto. And they do it themselves, but sometimes it's best just to analyze it and do it yourself. So if this helped fix your uh, wireless issues, please leave a like below or make a comment if you have any more questions. And thanks.